Hi guys, this question has come up a couple of times, so I thought I would make a video that explains it. The question is, how do I use the virtual CDRW burner with a playlist that spans multiple audio CDs? So it's pretty straightforward. You select your playlist. From the file menu, you choose Burn Playlist to Disk. You make sure the virtual CDRW drive is selected, and you click Burn. At this point, you can see iTunes is waiting for a blank disk, so we come up and we do New Media. iTunes will do its analysis and say, hey guys, this playlist is going to span multiple audio CDs. Well, we already knew that, so that's fine. We click OK, and as you can see, iTunes is burning. Now, this seems to be the part where people get confused, because if I come up here, you can see now I cannot insert another new media. The reason for that is because there's already media in my virtual CDRW drive and I need to wait for it to be ejected. When iTunes finishes burning, it's going to eject it, but there's one more step to the process, and that's that I need to save it. So there you go, iTunes is ejecting it, and now this save dialog appears, virtual CDRW save new media. Some people aren't seeing this. My guess is they have other applications running, and this dialog is being hidden. So close your other applications, move your windows around, you will find this save dialog. I'm just going to save this to the desktop, CD1. I happen to have one there, but I'm just going to replace it. So there you go. Now that I've saved it, the eject is finished and I can insert another new media. And as you can see, iTunes finds it and it starts burning to this second new media. And that's really all there is to it from this point. It's a rinse and repeat. Each time iTunes finishes burning, it will eject the virtual CD. I'll save it and then I can insert another new blank one. Um, there's not much else to it. Let's just wait for this one to finish. Uh, because this process can be tedious, we do have another product, Audiobook Transformer, that automates all of this inserting CDs and saving them. But that's neither here nor there, so I can save this one. And just so everyone knows, you can see I am on... OS X 10.10.3 and I am using the latest iTunes. So the process works and it works just fine and hopefully that clears it up for everyone so I can just refer people to this video. So thank you very much for watching.